us see John in pain. I'm sure some of you do. Okay, so today we're going to do some just some basic foam rolling of the quads to start, and then we're going to do some hamstring activation stuff. So really, what we what I mean is you're going to see me suffer here, and then you're going to watch me have cramps doing the hamstring activation stuff. It's going to be great for you guys and terrible for me, but hey, who doesn't like that? So for our quad rolling, um, we always want to keep in mind that there are four quads, okay? Mainly three of them that we are going to hit, okay? So you have DMO, your medialis, you have rectus, you have lateralis, and then there's intermedius, intermedius, intermedius. Um, yeah, we don't really access that one, really. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with lateralis. We all tend to have pretty, pretty tight lateral quads. So it'll look like you're rolling out your, your IT band, but it's not, okay? It's just the outer front quarter of your quad, okay? And slowly roll through there. You'll find a hot spot, and whenever you do, pause there, ah, and do a couple hamstring curls. Yowza. Okay? That is just to kind of get the muscle to move back and forth under the foam roller, and then move yourself over to the next spot. Right there's a good one too. All right, so a few there, and then once you kind of work your way top to bottom of your lateral, then you go into rectus, same idea, start at the top, slowly work yourself down, there's a hot one. Okay, uh, and a few curls, and then move yourself down a little farther. All right, and a few more curls, and then a little bit farther, Ugh. and then a few more curls. So I have my knee on the floor. This is so I don't completely cry on camera. If you go into like a full plank position like that and actually don't have any, any weight taken off, it's gonna be a little bit worse, okay? So, um, and then when we get into the VMO, we, I'll do this on this leg so you can see a bit easier. We want to go sideways like this, okay? So now we have all that pressure on the inside of the quad, and then we'll just do a few, a few kind of extensions, and uh, just kind of hit a few different angles. All right, um, it only goes up to about here, okay? This is where you're going to be pretty tender. Don't worry about trying to get like onto the actual knee. There's nothing there. Don't waste your time. Uh, yeah. So there is the quads. Spend about, I don't know, two minutes per leg. You can be pretty thorough on this one. Um, if you have a really hard foam roller, like a pipe, try and take it easy a little bit, okay? Some of us like to be like, oh, you take the pain. No, you can't, you can't, you really can't. Your body just kind of like shuts down and then you're pretty much just like trying to beat up a piece on the floor, okay? It's not gonna do anything, all right? Good talk. So from there, we're gonna go into our hamstring activation, okay? We're gonna take the foam roller, or the roller, oh, it's squeezing there, good. Take the foam roller and then put some pressure on there. And then I got this one, Ray. Thanks, Coach Ray, all right? And I want you to kind of get yourself into a little bit of kind of like a cat-cow tuck. And then you're trying to curl that straight back as far as you can while keeping that tuck and then back down, okay? Up, ah, eh, starting to go and then back down, okay? So. We want to be activating the glute as we're trying to lift the hamstring as well. What some of, some of you might do is this one, okay, where you kind of get that like almost like the cat cow thing as you lift up. We want to try and keep that uh, tucked and kind of keep that cat, that cat stretch as you're lifting. You'll kind of feel like you're moving against force that you just can't push against. That's fine, it's what you want. It should be like very difficult to get into that position. And then there might be some snipers in the woods just kind of kicking you off whenever you get a good cramp. Okay? So let's go into our strength today. We've got Cossack squats with a pause. All right? We're doing 15 per leg, so pretty long set. Uh, you can hold some weight if you want to. I suggest moving through this uh, once, at least without any weight. So that turned out position. Let's make sure as we're going down to the side that, that knee is kind of tracking out over top of the toe. Some of us have that habit of the knee coming in like this. I know, supernatural, right? Don't do that. Knee goes out. I like to reach out in front. Woo. Hip pop. Down. Pause. Push back up. 
And we're going to go all on one side. Back up, okay? You want to make this harder, hold it in goblet position or front rack, up to you, okay? 15 to one side, 15 the other side. And let's make sure that back leg is nice and straight, okay? If you're like this, not really getting much out of it. It's taking the tension off of the, uh, the adductor, okay? Uh, and then, single leg deadlift, all right? With a twist, not really twisting, it's just an expression. So, one foot stays flat. We're trying to keep the foot nice and close to our body, and the roller is going on top of the foot that's moving, okay? The idea behind this is so your body is moving as one unit, all right? So as we come down, it moves together, and as we come up, it moves together. So the shape of my body never changed. What we start to see sometimes when we do that, that kind of single leg deadlift is this one, all right? Or this one, something weird like that, okay? Second was an exaggeration. Only a couple people look like that, and you know who you are, okay? Um, so this is going to help link the whole thing. If you don't have a foam roller at home, that's fine. Use a broomstick. Broomstick actually is nicer because it sticks right out in front, and then you can kind of try and keep that 90 degree angle the whole way, okay? So down, and then pull back up, all right? If you go this way, you'll be able to see that my hips stay square to the floor and the foam roller stays nice and close to my leg. Woo, bad balance. Stays nice and close to my leg. Perfect. <laughs> I lost it, okay? Down, and then back up. It stays close to my leg in the same plane, okay? If you open up your hips, you're gonna feel like it comes up to the side and back there, we want to avoid that, okay? We're trying to keep it a nice straight movement, hips staying square to the floor, okay? So, from there, we can move on. We'll go into our conditioning. Now, I'm looking into the future here. It's going to be nice outside, which means you're going to go for a run. And if it's not nice outside, just ask Matt Pumphrey how he ran in minus 37 degree weather. It was probably cold in that. It looked terrible. Anyways, three rounds of an 8,000, just kidding, 800 meter run, 50 bicycles, okay? So your bicycles, often miscounted, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Let's try and make sure the knee comes up and the elbow reaches forward. This is a popular one. Woo, wow, I can do a thousand of these. Like, well, I can take a thousand steps too. Doesn't matter, okay? Uh, so, 25 per side, okay? If you, want to, if you want to be a real glutton for punishment, then you can just do a hundred, whatever. So do you, you do you. Once you're done that, 30 no push-up burpees, okay? Some might call these the no sinning burpees, also known as burpees that made the world record. They're faster, <laughs> okay? So down, out, and then back in, okay? When you're doing these ones, let's really try our best to land with flat feet, okay? So when you come down to here, you can drop your hips a little bit, but get that big hard pike to get yourself so your feet are flat when you stand up, okay? I don't wanna see these ones, okay? Let's really try and use those abs, those hip flexors to pull ourselves up driving the hips to the ceiling, pulling the feet in, okay? Three rounds, 800, 50, 30, okay? Get out there, guys, have a great workout. Hopefully it's not too cold outside, but at least you'll be warm because the heart rate will be up. All right, guys, see ya, bye-bye.